Welcome back to the Supreme Black Podcast. This is your boy D Rose, man. I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, you see that Biden and his administration is uh, pushing back on the Roe vs. Raid, overturning, uh, saying that the U.S. government is telling hospitals that they must provide abortions in case of emergency, regardless of the state law. Now, that didn't clear up whether they could still be charged uh, by state due to them overturning Roe vs. Wade. So that's something that you would have to be very mindful of and just look out for. But that is a positive step for the people that are pro abortion um and so under the law no matter what the women still have abortion care uh but like i was saying they can be charged by the state for assisting with abortion after the overturning especially if they're a part of the states that have already went effective with um no longer making abortions legal or whatever what other time frame they have it whether it's four weeks six weeks etc uh, that's a key thing. Now, you will see up here is like more ways that the Biden administration is promising to protect abortion access. I'm just going to be real with you with this. I don't know how this is going to stand because it's almost like they're being reactive instead of proactive in regards to knowing that people have been clawing at Roe versus Wade for a long time. I really don't know how these steps are going to help because I've seen more jobs saying that they're willing to pay people that may want to make a life choice of having an abortion for whatever reason the pregnancy could have happened and they will pay for them to travel out to a certain amount, which salute to those jobs for it. But, you know, to the other side of that, it's if while allow the, why allow for it to be overturned before you start to put in these uh, prevention measures, because it's a little bit too late because now they would have to completely overturn it again for it to be accessible to anyone without them having to travel outside of it. Um, here's the thing, and I know it's created a lot of conversation, and as a man that has a podcast with two other uh, fellows as well, we it's really a tough subject to speak on. Now, I feel as if that you can do whatever you would like to do with your body. I wouldn't imagine someone being assaulted and having to carry a baby. I just think that that has a lifelong effect on the mother and the child because that's going to be the story of how they were conceived but let, but here's one key thing and i don't know if people have really noticed it black women do have a higher risk of death within having or conceiving a child um or excuse me delivering a kid uh based off of what we've seen within like data you can look it up online google it to show you that they're two to three times higher here's the reason why i feel as roe versus wade was put into effect if the people that I grew up around, I was more knowledgeable of, honestly, white girls having abortions. And if you look at the rates by the state and by states in the United States, you will see that black, black women are slightly higher. But due to us being, quote unquote, the minority, those numbers are going to be significantly higher. However, when you look at individual states, you will see that white women have a very high abortion rate. Now, with them being considered their majority, that's going to be huge. So speaking on that, if they are the majority and their numbers are even close to any quote unquote minority group, that is why I feel that this was put into place. Leave your thoughts below. I'm not going to dive into it. I'm a man. I'm just out here putting out the information that I think is very important. Like, comment and subscribe. As always, man, stay vigilant, stay dangerous, long live CC. I'm out.